a lot of people struggle with losing the weight which is stored in the belly in spite of doing all the exercise workout going to gym eating healthy still the body is not able to break down that belly fat and the fat in the abdomen area so in this video we'll understand what is this d word which is blocking the breakdown of the fat in your abdomen area hi this is murtaza shakir and welcome to another video to help you stay healthy effortlessly when you, when you talk about losing weight i always focus on gaining health the focus has to be health gain and the weight loss should be the side effect of that i've created an entire series and a guide on this you can check the link in the description and sign up for that if you want to know more details about that now to talk about specifically belly fat yes eating healthy exercising moving sleeping water intake nutrition everything is important but if you do not fix the distress in your life then all efforts are of no use and it is in fact putting more stress on to your body now distress is a little different from the word stress sometimes stress is positive stress you have an examination you have an important meeting you know you have a presentation so that normal performance stress or performance anxiety is okay it, it helps you do or you know give your best and once that event is over the body comes back to its natural state and you are not living in that state of chronic stress throughout now what is distress is a stretch with a stress which becomes chronic stress which is prolonged which is perpetual or something which is very severe which has happened in the past and the trauma is still there with you you know you are still you still feel anxious you know you still stay sad and upset now when the body is under the influence of distress it releases extra cortisol now this cortisol hormone is not everything bad cortisol hormone when it is in the normal levels it is it has an anabolic effect which is basically helping your building of muscles and helping in repairing of the body so this happens when the body is under the influence of parasympathetic nervous system which is the rest and digest system when your body is not feeling the impact of distress or chronic stress the levels of cortisols are normal it will function this but what happens is that, is that when the levels of cortisol increases it undergoes a catabolic response which leads to the breakdown of the muscles so the muscles are now getting broken down and the breakdown of this muscle leads to releasing of more glucose or sugar in the body and this glucose or sugar gets stored into the fat in the body now let's understand why is this happening now when the body is under a distress it sends your brain a signal that you know you are under stress and the body undergoes fight and flight response which is basically the sympathetic nervous system and this is the opposite of parasympathetic nervous system now because the body either wants to fight the enemy or wants to run away from the enemy it secretes more glucose it needs more energy now in reality you are not fighting an enemy or you are not running away from an enemy you are in your home or in your in your office you are distressed you are sitting on a chair or in a corner but you know you are feeling anxious you know you are not feeling good you hate what has happened with you in the past or what is happening with you you constantly blaming and complaining about your life and how bad it is it is under distress and it is breaking down the muscles in your body or you know you you could be on a workout you could be running you could be eating healthy but you are under the influence of distress so whatever you are doing the body is breaking down the muscle that is getting converted into glucose and which is getting stored into the stored as fat in your body and then you wonder that why am i not able to lose weight because your you are running on sympathetic nervous system which is excess cortisol which is leading to all the problems not just that not just the fat but when your body is producing excess amount of cortisol it is also indirectly impacting your immune system it is impacting your digestive system it also leads to autoimmune issues it also leads to issues into the females in terms of hormonal and menstrual issues and other issues are also 
caused because of excess amount of cortisol in the body so along with the weight that you know you already have and you want to lose that weight you are struggling with autoimmune disease more frequent illness colds and coughs and digestive issues and ibs and bloating all that is starting to happening all all that starts happening and you wonder that you know i'm eating right i'm exercising but still why do i'm getting all this and then you get more frustrated and you get more stress so this entire cycle becomes more stress and you are caught in the vicious cycle of being distressed which is leading to more fat storage not just that when you are under the influence of chronic stress your eating choices are also compromised you eat mindlessly though you are eating healthy food but you are eating that food mindlessly you are not chewing that food well you are not eating on time your leptin levels are compromised you know you feel more hungry throughout the day than normal because you are under the influence of sympathetic nervous system now what you can do so before jumping onto another diet plan or you know trying a meal replacement shakes and all the powders and pills and all the fat burning promises which people are giving you please understand that whatever i have shared with you is pure biology it is what the body is going through and this cannot be undone by any pill powder supplement shake or any massage belt you know which the slimming centers are promising you they are just going to damage your body you will lose the weight in short term but your body is losing that weight under the influence of stress and the moment you take that thing out the weight will come back and along with that all the disease all the health issues will also come back so what you need to focus on is you have to focus on putting your body back into the rest and repair which is the parasympathetic nervous system and along with that you also make sure you are eating right you are moving and most importantly the few steps which i want to share the first one is your sleep make sure you are getting good amount of peaceful night sleep every single day if you compromise your sleep and you exercise you not just nullify the impact of exercise but you put your body under more stress if you compromise your sleep and if you eat more you are putting more stress on your body so sleep helps you calm down it helps cut the impact of fight and flight response it puts the body back into the impact of parasympathetic nervous system another thing is your breath make sure you are not using your chest and you know you are not breathing fast and shallow your breathing is conscious deep and you are using your diaphragm and your abdomen for breathing you can practice that i have a video on that as well you can watch that video on my channel now along with that you have to also make sure that you know you take support now this support could be of either a friend family or a coach or a guide or a mentor who will help you eliminate this distress now this distress could be due to the lack of acceptance that you know you are not accepting what has happened in the past you are not accepting the reality or of what is happening right now you are not able to forgive people in your life you know or you are not able to ask for forgiveness so forgiveness is an issue which is creating distress in your life acceptance is not there there is a lot of negative thinking there is a lot of negativity in your life now life circumstances are there negativity will come bad people will come you know nasty things will happen with you in your life but that does not mean that you compromise the way you are living you compromise the peace of your mind so you have to learn to strengthen your emotional muscle and mental muscles before you know you try to strengthen your biceps or you know you try to get any abs in the body if you have your emotional and mental strength right they are strong then it will protect you from the impact of distress the breathing the sleep they will make sure that the stress the distress does not impact your biology it does not change the biochemistry and it makes sure the excess cortisol levels are not released in your body so i hope this video helps you understand that whatever fat that you are trying to fight quick you know it cannot be achieved quickly the root cause could be distress which will also impact other elements but yes along with that eating habits your physical movement activity your water intake nutrition everything has to be in alignment the lifestyle has to be balanced and that is what i talk about in my entire free weight loss guide which i have created along with the video series the link is there in the description you can sign up understand that you know what is limiting your progress of losing weight and 
on the path of getting healthier and staying healthy effortlessly thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions about this please post it in the comments and if you have experienced this yourself that you know you had stress in your life and when you overcame that when you eliminated the distress you started seeing the result in your body your body started losing weight you started healing and overcoming all the health issues as well thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel share it with your friends and family who are struggling and to lose that belly fat and you know they are blaming complaining or wasting time money and energy in all the short gimmicks and marketing which people are trying to sell them thank you so much once again for watching this video i'll see you soon in the next video